Greetings. In this video I'll be covering two topics. One is Dean Ismay and uh, his new founded group of trolls. And the other one is uh, MRA and those voice for men cocksuckers. Now these assholes were trolling the shit out of many MGTOW videos and I caught Dean trolling uh, one of the Neo Unplugged videos and I basically dismantled his ass in comment section and of course him being the bitch that he is he deleted all those comments because I guess it was just too embarrassing for him. Now I want everyone to pay close attention because I will show you exactly what happened to Dean and the rest of his bitches the last time they tried to sneak into my fucking channel. How you doing? Uh! Uh, uh, bitches leave. Uh. Gee, Bobby. Bye. You gonna call me? Oh my God. That's right. That's how I handle my fucking business. Now, this fat, ugly pig was blocking every other MGTOW who criticized him for his comments and trolling. And not only that, he also threw a lot of insults at him. So, I'll be doing the same thing to you, motherfucker. Now, what really surprises me is that you're married. And that's another thing about all you MRA voice of men motherfuckers. You all claim to care about men and men's rights, yet at the same time you share your bed with a fucking enemy. And yet we're supposed to believe that somehow you care about men? Oh no 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 no. And what kind of a self-loathing woman would marry herself to an ugly, fat, 12 sandwich eaten, greasy, hairy, Grizzly Adams on crack looking motherfucker like you. No woman would ever do that. You are married to a Bigfoot motherfucker. She grows more hair than you do. And a bitch can't even walk without dragging her knuckles on the ground. But I bet she can climb the fuck out of a tree, can she? And the only time you actually have balls to troll some MGTOW videos is when she takes them out of her purse and lets you have them for a few hours. Now you're also MRA and a prominent member of um, a voice of men. And I want to talk about that as well. I know exactly why you guys are upset. I know exactly why you do what you do. You're not fooling anyone, right? You are afraid. You are afraid of MGTOW and its growth. And this is why you're trolling. This is why you're bashing MGTOW. Because you're panicking. And you know that a few years from now you'll be standing in a fucking unemployment line. Because your hustle is up. And your days are numbered. You will no longer be able to leech off government. Because again, the man's rights movement is designed by government to fail. And you really haven't accomplished anything so far. And it's time for you to get a proper job. A real job. And Dean Ismay, when your fucking Bigfoot wife divorces you, you better pray she doesn't get custody over your tiny little balls. Because she needs a new pair of earrings. And let me be clear, I have no problem with you assholes talking about MGTOW because you're giving us a free promotion. And please, voice of men, stop worrying about your fucking image and reputation. Especially your image, because your image is a joke. Every time you got one of your little promotions or gatherings, whatever, you got like 10, 20 crazy females out there bullying the shit out of you. And all you really have to do is just step outside the building and smack those bitches up. Sean Connery style. But no, no, you gotta stay inside like a little bitch because, oh, you're so worried about your image, right? You don't want to see a bad report. Who gives a fuck? You already got a bad report. When people see a bunch of crazy fucking females bullying you at your own rally, that's as bad as it gets. Because you're backing down and you're officially a pussy. Shit, a manhood academy has got more balls than you do. And you keep trying to fucking compromise with feminists. You can't compromise with them. We are beyond the point of compromise. There is no room for compromise anymore. You can only do that when you're on the equal playing field. But it's really an uphill battle now. Besides, what are you going to compromise about? Seriously, you can't compromise with them because they feel too fucking strong and they're backed up by the government. And it's not in their best interest to compromise. Why should they? You assholes are completely redundant and useless. And you're not going to achieve anything, this is just a hustle for you. And we are putting you out of business. And there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. So stop trolling MGTOW videos, stop acting like a bitch, and start looking for a real job. So in conclusion, fuck Voice for Men, fuck MRA, you motherfuckers can shy my fucking shoes. And I'm gonna stomp you every time I see you trolling a MGTOW video. And feel free to kiss.